Welcome back to Mini Sun Monday. As always, I am joined by Rolanda. Hi. And we have today with us Eddie. Eddie Z, please. And for this mini sode, we have Josh. Hey, this is my first actually mini sode. I, I was gone when you guys he was. when you guys created this, this, this new show. So yeah. So this, for this mini sode, for in mini sodes, we just talk news, guys. So who's got some news today, huh? Who's got some Eddie? news? Eddie. Well, news, uh, news, my news, news for you guys today is they are doing an Adams Family animated movie. <laughs> So as you know, the Adams Family came out uh, 1964, had three seasons. Oh, 64? Yeah, 1964 oh, went into syndication. Um, Only forever. three seasons? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a lot oh, more. Oh, three yeah. seasons, yeah. Oh, three seasons had 24 oh, episodes yeah. probably back then, right? So that's about... about oh, so 24 was a season. Okay, that's a lot. 60, that's probably like around, you know, 60-something, 70 episodes. And then from there in the 90s, they did a couple of movies. They did like three movies. I think the last one. Wait, was, there were three. Yeah, you know, three Adam's Family, the Adam's Family Values. What was the third? Was it probably a direct to DVD? Um, I think it was direct to DVD. Okay. So that one was 1998. <laughs> <laughs> well, were they all? Because Ra- Raul Julia, he was in the first two, right? Yeah. And yeah. then he and then passed he away after the second one? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I love those movies. I grew up on those movies. I pound them. I Adam's Family Values. Oh, yeah, for sure. So good. That's uh, like that's uh, Wednesday. Cusack? When Wednesday, yeah, Joan Cusack was great. But Wednesday's performance in the like her interactions with the kids at the camp. Yeah, so fucking, so fucking good. great. Yeah, Values is fantastic. Christina Ricci, yes. Yeah. So I'm excited. I mean, like, I think those are and. It was the first one to do that. Like, let's take an old property. Let's have this thing not age and be very like 60s. And let's put it in the 90s. They did that a couple years later when they did the Brady Bunch. But did the they Adam's do Family was Brady was Bunch the before? Oh, Adam's Adam Family, Family was, was first. first. Oh. Yeah. And I just love that. Brady Bunch, was it black and white when it first started? No, yeah. they were always color. It was color. It's always been color. Yeah. yeah. Was Adam's Family in color or black and white? No, black, black and, white. and white. Oh. Yeah. But the sixties had so color. then so then this new Adams family is an animated movie, not not a TV show, right? No, no, this yeah. is gonna be an animated movie. Yeah, it's, it's it's not it's uh you see animated, it's not two D, it's uh it's three D, right? Computer animated? Computer animated. It is computer animated, yes. Oh, fancy. Coming uh, out in October eleventh. Well, I don't know. Do you guys remember the animated TV show? Never watched it. No? no, okay. I do. I do remember. Yeah, they used to have an. I used to. I used to like watching it. So maybe if I it goes that route, I think it. Show. I think it'll be fine. It was like Beetlejuice the animated yeah, series, right? Like those was, tend to be good. It was really good. So I think if they just kind of stick to that, I think they'll be fine. It's the Adams so. family. Do we know? Do they have any? Um, like any big names for oh, their voices? So, yeah. yeah. So um, let me guess. Benedict Cumberpatch. No. no. Oscar Isaac is playing Gomez. Yeah. Oh, he would be good in like a live action. Yeah. He would be good as a live action Gomez. Yeah. yeah. Who else? You have I, know, Trump. I know Bette Midler is in this. <gasps> Bette Midler. Who's she? I put a spell on you. <laughs> yeah, that was not Bette Midler. Chloe Grace. I'm not going to say her last name. Moretz. Moretz. Yeah. Moretz. Uh, Charlize Theron. Yes. Charlize Theron. I'm assuming she's playing Morticia. Yes. I don't know how I feel about that. And Finn Wolfhard. Oh, oh, is he playing Pugsley? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. Who the hell is that? He's the kid from Stranger Things. Yeah. And he What's was his in, name? He was in It, too. And he was in It. Yeah. Finn Wolfhart. What a name. <laughs> I, I don't think that's his real name. I can't be. <laughs> is his last name really Wolf? Is that how you say it? Wolf- Wolfhart. 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 Oh, Wolfhart. No, no, no. Hard. Hard. Wolfhart. Oh, Wolfhart. Oh, that's cool. Finn Wolf. Sounds like a boring <laughs> name. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. I can't wait for us to do it. I want to watch the movies again and the original and talk about it. I've never seen the original TV show, so I can't say. Yeah, we'll it's very about, different. Will we do the TV show, the animated yeah. series? Uh, we could do the animated, but we simply episodes. must do the TV show. Oh, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. For sure. And I think the release nice. date, releasing it, it's uh, October, right? October. Like around. Halloween. So that is perfect. Makes obviously, sense. perfect time. It's going to be great. Yeah, because we're releasing horror movies around that time. I think it comes out around Halloween, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, right? So you have that for like the teens and like the older adults. Then you have a family movie that you can take your kids to that's still Halloween ish. So. Oh, yeah. Because right. there's not, not too many like family movies. Yeah, around that's that true. Yeah. yeah. And I definitely, we're going to have a great month in October. So make sure you listen to our podcast. In October and until October, just listen to it all the time. Yeah, but we're going to be covering it and Adam's family. Don't, don't sleep. Just listen. Just listen to our, to our podcast. podcast. Yeah, yeah. 
You guys see the new uh, Lion King trailer? Oh, we obviously talked about Lion King in the past because we, we knew it was being remade. Um, yeah. But that recently came out. I know Nicole isn't too keen on it. <laughs> Did you see the trailer? Yeah, but I'm I I can watch it. You, you want to watch it and have it. a live reaction? Everything the light touches is our kingdom. But a king's time as ruler. The cubs look good. Rises and falls like the sun. So do the hyenas. I'm not sure how I feel about. Uh, I don't know. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about uh, Scar though. Yeah, Scar looks anorexic. But I think I think it's the kind of like. It's a, good, thought, it's a good yeah. contrast to like Simba and Mufasa. Give him a black like... mane. How hard is that? Does he? Is he not I guess mane? not black like. Uh... Oh, Rafiki, oh. <laughs> looking good. Oh, they, oh, wow, they this is gonna be so. This, oh, oh my, my god, it's so. so it's, gonna be, uh, it's gonna be like a basic shot to shot remake. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah. God damn it. Remember. It looks beautiful though. I mean, Jean Favreau did such a great job with uh, Jungle Book. Jungle Book yeah, so. and it does look better than Jungle Book. That's okay. okay. But the only thing and that's a hard bar because Jungle Book was so fucking good. We got a fucking all sarcastic. So. Yeah, it does. I don't know. I still have to wrap my mind around this beat by beat remake. Yeah, and Maybe, why I mean, it's a beat by beat almost. Like I guess we'll. It's showing you. It's like, oh hey guys, we do this and we do this and this is exactly the Unless same. Unless they're just showing us what we already know, and then there are going to be some different changes that divert some slight in the, in the in the actual film. So I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Thank you, Disney, for giving us something to talk about. Yeah, yeah we right. wouldn't have a podcast without you, so sponsor us. Yeah, we would like to get paid, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop my news now that I got. Oh, so. what is it? So Okay, so uh, apparently Tina Fey was asked during the premiere of uh, The Mean Girls on Broadway if uh, there was any talks about revisiting 30 Rock. Oh, and geez. she had said, I don't know, maybe. But now she was, I think on The Tonight Show, she was, uh, I think, with Stephen Colbert, and he kind of pressed her more about it. Mind you, it's, Mean Girls premiered what last year? So it's been some time. And so he asked her about 30 Rock, and her response is just like, okay, look, so I just said maybe because I didn't want to say outright no. However, the truth is, me and the writer have been actually in talks to possibly come back and do a revival of 30 Rock. The question would be how? And they don't want to just do a revival, just like the cast comes back. They want to do something creative. And I actually have faith in Tina Fey, so. One would hope that she does something well because yeah. I love Thirty Rock. It's one of my all-time favorite TV shows. Um, I think because of the Trump administration, they have a lot to explore because mm. Jack Donaghy, Alec Baldwin's character, is such a staunch Republican that exploring his relationship with the GOP under Trump would for sure, uh, what's it called, bring out a lot of laughs, I think. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think there is definite room. I think if they brought the show back, it definitely has room for. Okay. So she didn't, she didn't go into, like, any more specifics? Like, would it be a one-off show or a, nope, a whole season? No, they didn't season? go into any more specifics. It's just yeah. like that. So that's the question. What happens? True. I think that thinking about, oh, you know, bringing stuff back during the Trump era is a great idea. It's a great idea. But, like, Murphy Brown... Yeah, that flopped. It flopped. It like the idea of it, and then seeing the reality of it, it yeah. wasn't that great. We were going to cover it for the show, but then it can't. It got canceled. So we were just like, all right, well, you're bad SEO now. So no, thank you. Yeah, like nobody was watching. And when I I did see an episode of the revival, and I was disappointed. And and I don't think Thirty Rock has been gone enough for me to want it back um, long enough. It was the moment it was gone. I was already missing. Oh. It, so <laughs> I'm if not a back, big fan I'm like you to. are. Ugh. Two things, not gone long enough for me to miss it and to the idea of it. But then like every episode's gonna tackle like relationship dynamics and stuff. So I don't I don't it's like okay. Whatever. Yeah. I'm really I think it would be more so kind of the relationship between Jack I think that's what I'm gonna be more interested in it. Jack Donaghy's relationship with the GOP and obviously 
uh you know liz lemon's you know liberalism which is just yeah like, has, there, has there been any sitcom or type that has been gone for a few years and then came back as a series again yeah futurama i guess you could say that yeah that was different I, because yeah, i still feel yeah i feel that like that's a little different and arrested well development and will and grace well and grace, well and grace. Well and grace yeah mm-hmm. you could say that it hasn't been that long since it was off the air is Will and Grace is still on? It's still on the air? Yeah. yeah. Because, Will, okay. because Will and Grace ended. Right. And then it came back. Okay. Futurama never really ended. It got canceled just like Arrested Development did. So these fans wanted it. But like nobody yeah. asked, was like, oh, Will and Grace, we need it back because it had ended. We assumed yeah. that it would never come back. Yeah, 30 and Rock like, ended. And 30 Rock had a great ending. So it would be kind of weird to see how they upend that ending. I just wish American culture would let things die. You know, we have this bad thing about like, like letting things go on for too long and then bring yeah, it back. Yeah, we wouldn't. Yeah. Saying, Nicole, wait, wait. Are you saying sometimes death is better? I, th- I think every time. <gasps> A call back to last week's episode. Yay. Have you listened to Pet Cemetery? Go back and listen, guys. It's a good episode. Yeah. Nicole does a great accent. Oh. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. These are lies. <laughs> <laughs> you should go and listen. I'm not going to do it now. Go back and listen to Pet Cemetery. And uh, so thank you guys. Thank you, Josh. Yeah, thank like you. Hope we'll be back for more of these. You know, we'll see how my schedule works out. We can only hope, even though hope is a dangerous thing. Again, that was a callback to Pet Cemetery. Go back and listen. Well, I hope Josh comes back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys have a good one, and Happy uh, Monday. I guess we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Bye. Bye.